。各位狼友好，我们现在回来继续地平线啊，这个《极限竞速地平线四》啊，这个游戏的攻略。我们现在进行最后一章，这个英国绿这个赛事最后一章，看一看驾驶什么车。This is quite the story. Bentley at Le Mans in the 1930s.、啊、宾利啊，也叫本特利，英国著名的豪华品牌。豪华品牌轿车，有钱人啊，有钱人的汽车。这车怎么也得三四百万，在中国大陆售价三四百万人民币。在美国怎么也得要，美国好像是二十多万美刀吧。这宾利呢，它有这种有一个叫宾利大陆 GT。是专门的这种跑车，运动型的，还有那种轿车吧。那么我们的任务是这辆车不要撞毁。安安全全的到达目的地。Continental Super Sport is responsive, fast, and beautifully designed. It brings together all wheel drive, carbon fiber bonnet sides and side skirts to create the most powerful, performance-focused car the company has ever built. This Bentley is with Mercedes, is similar to the two world champions of the world. Bentley's pedigree is racing, and the Bentley Continental embraces that. In 2007, a largely standard Continental Speed GT broke Bugatti's record for the flying car. 劳斯莱斯好像是现在被宝马，被宝马公司给拿到了吧？那个劳斯莱斯那那个车，比利还是纯正的英国，英国牌的汽车。Bentley is driven to excellence. Today, Bentley means modern, peerless luxury and elegance, but that's far from the full story. 看看下一辆开的是什么车。A century ago, Bentley meant something else entirely. It meant Le Mans. In 1930, eccentric race team owner Dorothy Paget financed a rather special Bentley at the Le Mans. It was a 4.5-liter supercharged masterpiece, driven by Sir Henry Bentley Boy Birkin. It posted the fastest time on the day, but it failed to finish. 好，那么这个实际上是一辆老爷车，宾利的老爷车。Sir Henry's courageous driving forced Rudolf Caracciola's seven-liter Mercedes out of the race at the cost of his own victory. 让我们看看，这是室内。Bentley Sixes would take. 我现在在的是冬天啊，不知道这人录这个敞篷啊，在冬天里。挑雪花、敞篷开车是什么感受<笑> ？Sir Henry knew he didn't have anything to prove. In 1929, the adventurer Mrs. Mary Victor Bruce had already driven the resolutely modern 4.5-liter Bentley at Montlhéry, 
setting distance, speed and endurance records. The Bentley's performance so annoyed Ettore Bugatti that he called it the world's fastest lorry. Oh, and when the blower finally went to auction in 2012, it was a Bentley car. To get yourself a Veyron and a racing truck.